Hello pharmacist, let's go to Canada. Today's video is going to be about how to practice pharmacy in Canada or how to get registered as a pharmacist in Canada. In this video, I'm going to talk about opportunities for pharmacists in Canada, how to reach there, the requirements, the process, the exam and how to get registered as pharmacist. First, opportunities. So pharmacist code is NOC3131. So there are different codes available for different jobs. If you Google pharmacist code NOC3131, you can understand or you can get the demand for a particular profession in different provinces of Canada. So for opportunities for pharmacists include community pharmacist, hospital pharmacist, clinical pharmacist, industrial pharmacist, drug information pharmacist, pharmacist manager and pharmacist in government sector how to reach Canada so this thing is the difficult part about this country is how to reach there so one way is student visa where you can take a particular course and in sideways you can prepare for your pharmacist registration exam and all the process second is spouse visa which is the easier one if you're having your partner in Canada through spouse visa you can get entry there and you can prepare for your exams and get registered Third thing is the permanent resident visa. So if you are a pharmacist who are having experience more than three years, you can try for PR. And if you get PR, you can reach Canada, go for any part time job and then you can prepare for this exam. Now, there is a visa called visiting visa or visit visa where maybe the timing of the visit visa, the time period and the exam registration exams won't come along so don't know really about the visit visa and how it is going to work for pharmacist registration so the best possible way to reach there is through these three visas and if there is any other uh, if anybody knows who is watching this video where any other way you can enter you can mention that now the requirements so minimum four year pharmacy course is more than enough so b farm is more than enough so b farm graduates m farm graduates farm d graduates farm d post baccalaureate graduates all of them can practice pharmacy in canada so this is the only minimum requirement needed now the important part is the process the process of registration include four steps step one pharmacist gateway canada the gate second document evaluation three evaluating exam four qualifying exam so taking you all guys through these four steps first thing pharmacist gateway is literally a gate like entry so since international pharmacists they have to first get registered they have to make a profile in the pharmacist gateway canada website so let me show you the website so you know everything is available in this website everything regarding the pharmacist registration uh, a to Z is there in this website given in details with lots of instructions it's actually to the point so once you so you have to prepare a profile in pharmacist gateway Canada after preparing that profile that profile is required for you till your uh, qualifying examination so that profile is really important so first you have to register through pharmacist gateway Canada so you should also pay a particular amount to get registered after that process is document evaluation so for document evaluation you have to pay $675 then there firstly initially you have to apply online so after the payment you're going to get an application form and a checklist so checklist is regarding the documents that you have to attach and send so you have to fill the application form and get all your documents documents so the list of documents and everything is again available in this website Side. documents regarding your identity your educational qualifications all these documents there should be a xerox copy with notarized and it should be sent by post or courier into a given address and just available in this website so once your document evaluation is done you will get to the stage step number three pbc evaluating exam so since you're international pharmacist whatever you have studied should match with the Canadian syllabus so they are just evaluating your knowledge regarding whether you can be a pharmacist or whether you're having the knowledge to become a pharmacist PEBC stands for the pharmacy examining board of Canada all the websites and link is given in the description box where you can go and check it so the evaluating exam is like multiple choice questions and this 
exam is approximately 4.25 hours so you have to score 60 percentage of the possible score which is given in the website as 200 so depending upon how much ever is the possible score you have to score at least 60 percentage of that possible score amount for the registration for evaluating exam is dollar 870 and after three weeks your results will be published so this is exam blueprint where the syllabus is about biomedical science, pharmaceutical science, which is like 25 percentage of the paper and pharmacy practices, the 50 percentage of the paper, then behavior, social and administrative pharmacy science. So all the uh, syllabus, the references are given in the website in detail. Next is the PEBC qualifying exam. So once you have completed evaluating exam, you have to write a qualifying exam, which really is an important examination and just also the toughest exam so in this exam it's like divided into two parts first is multiple choice questions part one and part two is OSCE so OSCE is like both interactive and non-interactive station so you will have something like with patient interactive questions and non-interactive questions so again everything is available on the website so basically it is like counseling or responding to questions from a standardized patient or standardized client interacting with the patient or interacting with the healthcare professional to resolve a drug problem responding in writing to a message or a request for information screening and evaluating new prescriptions and these are some stations so this is the oxki exam so coming to the website you can see what are the references in the station rxtx rx files clinical drug data so some references are given to prepare for these stations even some examples are also given in their website there are nine competencies first ethical legal professional responsibilities about patient care product distribution practice setting health promotion knowledge and research application, communication and education, intra-interprofessional collaboration, quality and safety. So these are the competencies which you will be tested. So after the PEBC qualifying exam is the PEBC pharmacist registration. So once you have completed your document evaluation, evaluating exam and qualifying exam, your name will get registered into the pharmacy examining board of Canada. After that, you have to select a province. So each province will have different uh, criteria. For some province, it is going to be different the internship or the training period will be different so depending upon the provinces even the coast will be also different so here i will show you some examples so once you have selected a province you have to apply to the pharmacy college of that province where you're wishing to work in the application process they will ask you for a language proficiency proof so you will need an ielts or toefl score result within two years so you have to submit your language proficiency test results and then you will have to attend and a bridging program province like alberta where you have to undergo a bridging program not only alberta the most of the provinces have a bridging program it's like a mandatory step in the licensure process in most of the provinces so you will have to attend a program named as certificate to canadian pharmacy practice program so this is like 10 month program so you can attend this after your evaluating exam and then you can prepare for your qualifying exam and sideways you can even write that exam but after evaluating exam make sure you have to attend this bridging program now after that you will have a structured practical training so this again depending upon the province the requirement for hours will be different so this is in province alberta where you will require more than thousand hours of training so here once you enter the training you are a professional pharmacist intern so you will have three levels where you have to train for minimum 450 hours in level 3 it's like 100 hours before you enter to level 2 you have to complete your jurisprudence or law exam again this will be different depending upon the province you have selected so for alberta it is before level 2 of practical training you have to complete your law exam now the last step is you will have to pay a pharmacist practice annual permit fee and evidence of minimum professional liability insurance so after paying some amount you will get registered as a pbc pharmacist now the cost for pharmacist registration for the app Application to pharmacist gateway document evaluation evaluating exam and qualifying exam this is a fixed amount at four thousand five thirty five dollars now going to the rest of the steps that is bridging program practical training jurisprudence exam and all that cost is going to be different according to the province you select so here i have compared a few provinces so you can see coming to ontario the amount is really huge but alberta you can see it's just six thousand ninety three dollars so this amount is including the first thing 
including four thousand five thirty five dollars there will be additional cost the cost of your travel your stay so if there is any pharmacist who is wishing to go to canada you can really choose this country because it's the best place for pharmacist and if you are meeting all these requirements you can go for this and the thing is that only the the registration process and everything is a bit complicated but there are a lot of indian pharmacists who have went through all this process and now are successfully working there so if you want to go to this country prepare for the exam there are tuitions and coaching centers available for pebc evaluating and qualifying exams so if you have studied well and prepared well you can really pass these exams and and work there so i hope this video was informative to everyone share it with your friends thanks for watching have a nice day ahead